Underneath the world's oceans lies a scientific treasure. For billions of years, the world's past climate changes have been archived continuously in ocean sediments. Today, modern scientific techniques are used to explore climate change in the past by drilling for ancient sediment layers in the oceans. Why? Because scientists believe that the key of understanding future climate change is through understanding our climate history. This research provides a combined record of the ancient environments, oceanic circulation, changing climates, also data on adjacent land masses, wind patterns, biotic extinctions, and evolution in general. This huge archive can be reached through ocean drilling, carried out by the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program, IODP, in which more than 17 nations collaborate, including the US, Japan, and many European countries. To initiate the process, first, important research questions are posed like why and when did the earth change from greenhouse to ice house conditions. Next, suitable regions are selected for drilling key climatic records. After extensive pre-expedition reconnaissance, including seismic exploration, a final scientific drilling proposal is produced and entered in the IODP system. This structure that Such a proposal here. receives peer review of all thinkable aspects like safety, feasibility, environmental issues, and technical challenges. After approval and ranking, an expedition goes to the planning and execution stages, and eventually a science party is composed and the cores get drilled, usually by one of the drilling vessels of IODP. Onboard scientific activities include the biostratigraphical and geochemical initial analyses of the core catchers, the bottom part of each 9-meter-long core. Meanwhile, the cores get cut into 1.5-meter bits. The still-intact cores are first scanned for physical properties, after which they're split. One half is called archive, the other working half. The latter gets sampled on board, the other described and photographed before eventual storage. Results are continuously discussed by the onboard science party through frequent meetings. Eventually, a preliminary scientific report is composed already on the ship to be only swiftly edited afterwards. Back on shore, samples taken are expedited to the institutions of science party members and to other interested colleagues who enter detailed sample requests for post-expedition follow-up analysis. Typically, this work would expand on onboard studies or involves measurements that cannot be performed on ship. For example, molecular organic geochemistry. These samples get analyzed by many disciplines in earth sciences. Such studies may involve also the generation of stable isotope records from foraminiferous shells through mass spectrometry or bulk rock elemental analyses via ICPMS, follow-up palynology or organic matter analyses. Together, integrated data sets answer questions like, was it cold or warm, saline or fresh waters, high or low biotic productivity, was the water stratified, was there sea ice, land ice? Time series analysis will allow recognition of possible orbital forcing underlying past climatic changes. Eventually, the original questions posed may be answered with unprecedented precision. Key results are communicated at scientific meetings around the globe. Bits and pieces of the expedition-related science will get published in high-profile scientific literature, such as the journals Nature and Science. 
Finally, an extensive scientific report of the expedition involving all conceivable results is produced for the scientific community to inspire new expeditions. And the initial research cycle is completed.